need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. James 1.5. Well, hey, FCC, I think we're all very aware of the challenges that 2020 has presented to us. And if there's one thing we need, that is wisdom. Wisdom of how we move forward in these days. Well, I came across a devotional this week that was entitled, A Cloud by Day and a Fire by Night. It's based on a series of sermons that A.W. Tozer gave to the Southside Church over 60 years ago. And I found it very relevant for today. Let me just share a few thoughts from that devotion. He was quoted as saying, we need to relax a bit, turn away from the noise of the world and listen to the voice of God. He has everything put together. He has prepared for us a place of service and ministry, and we will open the necessary doors despite the obstacles and confusion we may experience during the journey. Can you relate confusion and obstacles today? Uh, the noise of the world and distractions of a pandemic? Well, I know they're all on my list, but he goes on to say some things that I think are very relevant for you and I today. He said this, I need to quiet my heart in order to hear God's direction. This must become a daily discipline for all of us. It's too easy and convenient to trust in human inclinations. We gravitate towards earthly methods. We want human understanding and as a culture, he says, we have become addicted to the devices and technology. It's almost as if he's saying that to us today in 2020. This was 60 years ago. But then he really lands with this point. And this is what stuck with me. He says, however, those who refuse to trust in these human inclinations and devices are the ones who have their ears open to hear the voice of the Lord. Well, what can we take away from Tozer's thoughts? Maybe... A few things. Uh, one simply is that God's the one in control and newsflash, we're not. Or how about this? God has been faithful in the past and he will be faithful in the future. Probably what stands out for me the most is this thought, that God wants to speak to us. Yeah, and we need to listen, turn our ears towards him. In fact, the last five months have been exhausting. Exhausting physically, exhausting emotionally and mentally and spiritually. But also, there is an exhilaration about the days that we're in. We're living in a pivotal time of change, and not just for the short term, but really, I think, for the long run. Things that once were will probably never be again as we step into something new. So how do you do that? How do you respond in faith? Well, start here. Ask God. Yeah, ask God, right? Jesus said it himself. Seek God by asking for daily bread. Maybe just seek him for today. Lord, what would you have for me today? And as you grow in strength in that thought, ask, God, what would you have for this week, this month? God, how would you lead me? Invite the Holy Spirit to guide you day by day and even moment by moment. That is the starting point. It's always been the starting point for God. COVID-19 has not changed that. Start with a simple ask, God, how would you lead me? And then position yourself to listen. And when you hear, be courageous and move forward in faith. God bless you, my friends.